Hey y'all, it's Michaela. if you didn't already know and welcome to my channel. I'm going to show y'all today how I take down my hair when it's blown out in the morning and yeah, I'm going to just jump right into it. Like, I don't even care to get into all the, you know what I'm saying, subscribe and follow, like the I don't care about none of that. Anyway, yeah, this is for all the girlies that don't really know how to maintain their hair because tying it up at night is essential. I had to tie it up with a silk scarf like how y'all saw and then I also had a bonnet on. And I have a silk pillowcase. We protect our hair over here. First off, I'm going to lay my edges because I'm going to just go ahead and get that out of the way using the Easy Edges um, Edge Control Gel, which I, this is honestly, it has become my favorite edge control to use because it, one big thing that I like about it, it doesn't leave a white residue, like at all. Like, and I put this on multiple days in a row, it still won't leave no white residue, nothing. It kind of feels like I'm putting grease on my edges. Except that the difference between this and grease is this actually like keeps my edges laid. And honestly, y'all, one thing I'm gonna just go ahead and dress it on the camera now. Low key, stop tying my hair up. I mean, tying my edges down to lay them. Cause I realized like with the edge control gel, I kind of like when my edges curl up throughout the day. I think it looks better when it's not like super sleek. You know what I mean? I kind of like the frizzy look of my edges sometimes. Not like too frizzy like how I was looking, but you know, when it was laid and then it starts coming up like a little bit, but it's still kind of laid. I hope y'all get what I'm saying. <laughs> Plus, I don't do too much with my edges, so I don't really feel the need to lay them down with a scarf every single day. It's just not really necessary for me. Like, I actually lay just my baby hairs. I don't lay, like, my middle-aged adult hairs. And I feel like that's why a lot of people struggle with getting their edges to lay all day. Because y'all be trying to lay your real hair. And not your fine edges or finer edges compared to the rest of your head. But me, personally, I'm going to just, you know what I'm saying? This is all I need right here. This this all I need. So, ooh, this look good. I did a good job today. But... Yeah, and then I'm, I'm not about to tie it down with a scarf. I don't really do that anymore, especially since, like, I'm just going to class. Maybe if I was, like, going to a formal event and I was, like, doing something special to my hair, for sure, I'd tie them down. But, baby, I'm just going to class all day. So, I don't really care. Now, for a real show, let me take my hair down. It's giving old girl from Polar Express. So, when my hair is blown out like this and I'm actually, like, wearing it out, I always braid my hair down before I go to sleep and it don't even have to be nothing special like y'all see I only got three braids and even if it was like parted down the middle I'd only have two plaits and I do this because even when my hair is blown out it's still gonna shrink up and this helps minimize that especially with the shaft the ends I'm gonna have to brush them out and we gonna get to that but for now I'm taking my plaits down with oil it doesn't really matter what oil but this is the one I'm using today because it's right here on the desk already. And I like to always give my hair a good coat of oil. And this oil is pretty like light, so I don't mind putting it all over my hair. And I take some more rub it in my hands. And we're just gonna take these plaits down real quick. It doesn't take long at all. And once I unravel the plaits, usually, I mean, your hair sheds every day. So usually when I take down the plaits, I have some shed hairs that are trying to come out. And they're struggling to get out a little bit because my hair is so thick. Just run my fingers through the section and just detangle it with my fingers. And then later, well, I'm actually going to do it now, actually. I go in with a detangling brush. Not a comb. A detangling brush because if you try to go in with the comb you're not gonna be able to do anything <laughs> like that comb is not gonna go through your hair baby maybe if your hair was flat iron but no it's a blowout and even though a blowout is close to having a silk press it's not the same you're gonna have to use a brush baby girl so this part is all finger detangled now this is the one of the detangling brushes oh not Hair already on it. <laughs> this is one of the detangling brushes from Curl Factory that I've used on this channel before. I'll definitely list it in my description box. But I don't know what's going on with them. I think 
they took like their site down so i don't even know if y'all can buy these products anymore i don't know what's going on with them but either way i still use their stuff so it's gonna be on my channel so i'm just detangling my sections with the detangling brush real quick and it doesn't have to be like a very in-depth detangle session or whatever like i i'm y'all see what i'm doing i'm literally just going over the section with the brush trying to get shed hairs out or as much shed hairs out as i can because those little snaggly ends that just be dangling from the rest of the section be super annoying when your hair is in a stretch state like this it's important to brush it every day because your hair is actively shedding and you don't want to build up a shed hair so yeah that's good enough on to the next section and i'm just keep going and let y'all watch for a minute because it's the same thing for these other two sections <laughs> Sitting on the grassland side by side You could be my baby Let me make you my lady Girl, you amaze me Ain't gotta do nothing crazy See, all I want you to do is be my love So don't give away My love So don't give away My love So don't give away Ain't another woman that can take your spot My love So don't give away My love So don't give away My love So don't give away Ain't another woman that can take your spot My love Alright, so this is how much hair I shed. Well, some of this is probably from yesterday, but this is how much hair I collected, I should say. Which it looks like it looks like more than what it is, so because my hair is stretched, but if I were to like run this under some water and have it curl up, it probably would be way smaller. I mean, like this is pretty much it. I'm gonna add a hair clip, cause why not? I'm gonna move for a help. I'm gonna move for a little hair clippy clip today. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna use this one today, cause I think I'm gonna wear white shoes. But this is pretty much it. I mean, I mean, it's not much to it at all. It's really just brushing your hair. <laughs> and you can plait your hair in smaller sections and detangle in smaller sections. It's up to you. Honestly, I advise for you to use smaller sections than what I did. I'm just, like, lazy. <laughs> and my hair can handle um, being detangled in only three sections. But, yeah, and then my ends are going to shrink up a little bit. But that's fine because, like, when it's brushed out like this, my hair ends up sticking out a little bit. But... When the ends curl up, then it starts to look more normal, I guess. But this is it. Final product looks just like how it did when I first, well, I'm not going to say it looks just like how I did when I first did it, but it still looks really good. This is day, so this is day four, I guess. 
But yeah, this is how I take my hair down. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this video and it brought some value into your life somehow, some way. And I hope and pray that you take something away from this, something good. You can subscribe, like the video, leave any questions, compliments, concerns in the comments and I'll get to them. I'll link the products I used in the description. Follow my socials if you want to see other content I post. And yeah, remember to never stop growing. I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye! Now looking free from the cool problems, still ballin' in the mix. It's that six six no weeks, no niggas stickin' your cheek. Callin' tricks, lookin' slick, and I'm time for I'm flippin'. Bar sippin', car dippin', redwood brain grippin'. Still tippin', I'm still fallin', I'm still fallin', I'm still